Okay, so here's my Primus book. I have run out of wall space, so I started putting these into a book. And this is first one is awesome. It's uh, NC Winners. Um, the detail on this is pretty, pretty amazing. Um, this was a very sought after piece. Love it. That's why it's the first page. Uh, this originally was the first page. Zoltron's Let's Print, Let's Trip with Primus, because this piece is awesome. I think it's hilarious. And uh, this is the New Year's Eve. Very, very hard to get. And um, I got number three of 500. Uh, you'll actually see that quite a bit. Uh, this is another Zoltron piece. Uh, let's Summon Primus. Kind of funny, too. Um, I think this is the first series of the Golden Books, and I got a, a couple of them, but um, this is with Clutch, uh, Berkeley, and then uh, that's 3 of 35. And um, not only do I get this, I got the two foils, and um, you can see it's, uh, this is the um, Trippendicular, I think, foil he calls it. Um, three of thirty five and then this is the lava foil um, I like this one the best um, that's three of sixty and then um, I got a few of them I always get number three so this is another Zoltron it's not Primus but um, Queens of the Stone Age pretty neat oh uh, yeah Zoltron very very cool this is a variant artist of print, but I'm not sure uh, why. I think it just has different colors. Uh, this is Primus's uh, 3D show. Um, I didn't go to too many of these shows. Um, need to probably pick some up. Now this is Matt um, Gordon's print. He does these amazing skeleton pieces, and um, he. This is his first. And his only uh, concert gig uh, poster. Here's the foil. I don't know if you can see it too good with the with the lights, but yeah, he draws a little little Matt Gordon little stuff on there. Yeah, he's amazing, and he just hasn't done another print. I'm not sure why. Um, and then this is uh, another NC winners. Um, yeah, I love it. There's so much detail that he's he's definitely uh, turning into one of the best. Um, this is a foil version. I, sh I would love to get the other version, but that's even <laughs> it's funny that one. This one was easier to get. Um, this show was in Philly, and uh, Doug Bohm did it. I love it. It's a re reoccurring theme with Primus. You got a monkey. An astronaut, which sometimes is a monkey, a pig, and then skeletons. Definitely elephants are always there. Uh, very cool print. I like it. But um, This is that Michigan show. Um, pretty cool black light stuff. And it says Primus right there, if you can read it. If your graffiti's good. There's three of uh, 350. This is just a print. Yeah, very cool. This is the foil. I mean, you can't really tell the foil. And that's three of uh, 62. And then this one's pretty cool. I don't remember the story behind this one, but this is Elephant. This guy um, designed. And uh, Dave designed this. And then, of course, he just, for the concert print, he just added Primus to it. This is in California. Pretty neat. I like the colors. And then um, I think I got a third one. Yeah, I got the foil. I think the foil is probably what uh, lured me to it. Oh, yeah, I like the... Uh, yeah, that the this piece in the bottom is actually... He added all that, so that's pretty neat. Um, this is when they played with Clutch. Primus toured with Clutch for quite a bit. This is Phil Jackson. He's pretty interesting. I got a couple of Phil Jacksons. Uh, I think he's in Europe. I've uh, emailed him. I just. And this is Miles Singh. He is 
pretty amazing. He does more just lots of like super fine line, you know, just very cool. And you can see you got Primus there in the text. And so I got that one uh, and a blue one. And that's number three of, uh, I forget, this is 65 and this is three of 65 as well. And then I have one, another one of his. This is the Saturating 7. And I don't, I didn't like a lot of the goblins and the prints, but the few I do have are, are pretty good. This one just has so much detail. I mean, he's definitely, I love to see process there's some goblins more like grim ones almost yeah very cool and of course you can see it says prime is down the middle uh, i think there's supposed to be seven goblins and then the there's six and then the seventh is right here somehow there's like an eyeball and then eyebrows from here i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it but yeah pretty neat. Uh, this is Zombie Yeti, one of my favorites. He does a lot of pinball machines. I own two of his pinball machines. And this is the Wonka, um, the Wonka print. Kind of funny, Augustus. Uh, yeah, he's Zombie. I have a bunch of his stuff. He's a cool guy. Um, this show, I do not remember either. Uh, I think it was in Philadelphia. Pretty cool. This guy, this guy made another print, pretty similar, just different. Very unique. And then this guy is uh, pa Jackson something. Um, Paul Jackson. Yeah, this one's pretty neat. He does a lot of fish art, kind of like this, where the submarine is a fish, or you know, there's, he has one with a shark and this and that. I don't remember where that show was. Oh, Nashville. That's right. Uh, this is an older print from Vegas. Actually, a real old print, I think. Yeah, yeah, 2012. That was a while ago, obviously. I don't have prints from earlier than that. I didn't really get into posters till later. Um, this guy, Dean Vecca, is pretty... He's got amazing pieces. Uh, this one is interesting. I, I'm not saying I love it, but... I don't know if it's a fudge finger flipping you off or or it's a Oompa Loompa with his head stuck out. I'm not sure what it is, but I, this show was pretty cool. This is the first Wonka show that I saw in Clearwater. And um, here's another Wonka print. This one's amazing. I love this foil. So it's just, you know, there's just so much. He's got the Wonka face splitting open with the Oompa Loompa and the skeleton. And there's little treats all over the place and uh very bad i had this framed for a while and i i just i need to find a better frame for this um this one's great um this is a shock studio and yeah there's a lot going on with this one uh, very very cool uh he didn't silk screen this though it was definitely digitally printed um but still amazing I, i've seen a foil of this i would love to pick up and more zombie yeti this one's cool he actually gave this to me in chicago at a pinball show and this is a black light print foil on foil so just really really cool i had this frame too for a while but i'm looking for a better frame and then here's another zombie yeti i just got this i didn't go to this show this is in Chicago. I couldn't make it, um, but I was able to get it later. I think on eBay, maybe. And then these are new artists, these two. This was the uh, uh, Davenport show. This this guy is new. Vince Locke. Pretty cool colors. It's one of the Saturating 7 ones I do like. Not too crazy over the top goblins. Kind of cool imagery. Very cool colors. This one, this show was amazing. This is in Athens. The sound wasn't great, but it was a cool show. Great set. And they ran out of this poster real quick. And I was real mad. Well, whatever. Not that mad. But um, luckily I was able to contact the artist. 
get it from him. And uh, this is a, a, di a different version. So it's got gray in it, I believe. I saw it before a foil, but yeah, I love this piece. Really, really neat. Very cool. And this is a new artist, too, in the poster series. And here's the Saturating 7 again. You know, this, this goblin doesn't... I don't love goblins, so... I mean, just for, you know, you don't want to put that on your wall, in my opinion, but... Uh, this is Monk 1. I have a lot of his stuff. And then he, I got a, a, a foil from him. And uh, very, very cool foil. I don't think they made too many. Yeah. What is it? 18 out of 35? Yeah. And it's signed. Very cool. Uh, this show was absolutely one of the best shows I've ever been to. This is the uh, Red Rocks. If you've ever been to Red Rocks, Red Rocks is absolutely amazing. Uh, and this is David Welker. Very, very, very amazing artist. His stuff goes for a ton of money. And um, this is no exception. This one, I went to the show, didn't get the poster. They just sold out so quick, I just couldn't get one. So when I got home, um, I got it on eBay. It cost me some money. Um, now this show was pretty amazing too this is in new orleans and my only regret is i didn't get the band to sign them i didn't get the signed print because um i had went to three shows before this and i didn't get posters they were that great of posters so when i came home i realized this guy was in st pete and then so he i got these from him um this is the foil which i think is you know those two alone just being the foil is amazing this is a test print. These are very, very hard to get. Um, how I stumbled on it, just... And you can see the last layer is upside down. The black layer, they printed upside down, if you can see. So that piece is... This is one of my favorite pieces. And if you can see, it's a test print number three. And according to him, there wasn't really a test print one or two. So this is like one of the only test prints and I just think it's I want to frame all three of them I just been looking for a good frame and just absolutely my, one of my favorite uh, three pieces besides the tripping um, this one's cool um, this is a Flagstaff this one I got signed very cool goblin you know not a bad goblin the colors are cool I'm always down for um, and then this one was uh, in Asheville I believe that show was weird at a brewery, very cool, not weird, but cool, but they, this is signed too, um, by three members of Primus, and, um, not sure what the number is, um, I don't remember this show at all, this is a foil, very cool, Oklahoma, yeah, I didn't go to that show, pretty neat, I had this framed. It looked really neat framed. Just was time to come. Uh, this is just a nine inch nails uh, poster. Pretty neat. Uh, I got this at the same time. I got something. I don't remember. I don't even remember who did this. <laughs> Sorry, artist, whoever you are. Um, it might be Monk One. I got a lot. Of, I, li I like to buy his stuff. And then this is Dan Mumford. Uh, I think he's out of England. He does a lot of really cool comic book stuff. Um, I wouldn't say all of his posters, concert posters are great. I think this one's pretty neat. I had this frame again for a long time and I, I got something else that uh, fit that frame. Just happens. I like to change stuff out. And here's another Zoltron. This is Queens of the Stone Age, but it's a, it's that little golden book series. So, um, pretty cool. Got a couple devil scenes, you know, from it. Thank you, Zoltron. And then I got this Grateful Dead from NC Winners. Very cool detail. I mean, the detail in here, there's so much going on. This was sold out very quickly. Yeah, very cool. You can just see the detail on the border. and Yeah, I love this print. I don't have a lot of Grateful Dead. I've been to 20 shows or so back in the 80s and just... Ah, uh, that one's okay. Alright, so this show was pretty good. It's in Birmingham. Actually, it was a really good show in Birmingham. Very small venue. Um, Fudge, I think. is Yeah, Mike Fudge. Yeah, he he does it. He sticks to palettes. He has, you know, once he gets that orange palette in there, he repeats it. He, there's another one out there that's pink. 
And there's a saturating seven. Again, goblins aren't my favorite. And then I got some prints over there from Rise Cooper. And then uh, Tom Fries McGee. And there's another Zombie Eddie. And uh, this one I like a lot. I just framed that one. Came out really good. All right. Have a good day.